and thank you for watching and to play the other videos. In this lab, you will learn how to create a sales order in SAP ERP system. To create a sales order, go to transaction GA01. Create sales order. Or you can use SAP menu. Logistics. Sales and distribution. Sales, order, and double click on create sales order. One field is mandatory, it's an order type. We will see here the list of all order types and uh, those order types which you customized. In our example, we will use standard order. OR document type. And you have here organizational data screen, which contains data about sales area. We can leave all the fields blank. Also, we have here a created reference. Here, we, uh, using this screen, we can create our sales order with the reference. To reference that uh, document like inquiry, quotation, order, form to contract, schedule agreement, or billing document. After you define your order type, press enter or click on the green button. First, you need to define a sole property. Press enter. After that, you must choose a sales area. We will choose the first sales area. And we see here that the, at Partners tab, you can see the list of all partner functions that are determined automatically. Now, we need to Choose material, quantity, and unit of measure. It will be DC. We have an information message. The division in the header deviates from division in the item, and we can press continue because for this document type. We have uh, we allowed the difference between division at the header level and the item level. This is the item level. We see here all materials and see tabs like sales, item overview, item detail, ordering party, procurement, shipping, and reason for rejection. On each tab, we have some additional data about each item. And by pressing on display document header details, we will see all tabs that is related to the header level of the document, like sales tab with sales information, shipping billing document, payment cards, accounting, conditions, account assignment, partners with partner functions information, text, order data, status, Additional data A and additional data B. Additional data B is uh, configurable and customized tab. Now we see that uh, as a default, this tab is blank. So we have defined all necessary information 
have a cell folder. After that, we can check if this document is complete. Edit in completion log. Document is complete. We will talk about an incompletion log in our future lecture in detail. And after input every necessary information, we can save our document. And we have a message that standard order has been saved. We can, we can copy that standard order number and click on VA02 change. And here we can see some very important fields that need to be configured in a spiral transaction. It's delivery block. Billing block, order reason, reason for rejection. We will talk about these few fields and how to customize them in a few moments. And now we can learn how to delete, reject our document. If we need to reject our document, we can press on reject document button. Choose reason for rejection and press copy. After that, we can save our document and our document was rejected. And what now we'll learn about uh, customizing some very important fields in sales order. Now we'll learn how to maintain all the reasons. Go to transaction VA03 to our sales document. And on sales tab, we can see all the reasons. Now we'll learn how to customize this order reason field. The reasons that let the customer to place an order or returns for your product can be maintained in SAP as order reasons. A sales call, television advertisement, trade fair activities, excellent price, existing customer recommendation and so on are a few examples of order reasons. Be it an inquiry, quotation, sales order, contract, return, or any other sales document, you can use an order reason for all of them. An order reason helps you to analyze your marketing and process activities, effectiveness and efficiency. It also helps you judge your product performance in the market and capture quality failures and problems that led to customers returning your goods that you can improve that in the future. To customize order reason, go to SPRO transaction. Click on SAP Reference IMG. Click on Sales and Distribution. Sales. Sales documents, sales document header, and click on define order reasons. To define our new order reason, click new entries. Provide a three character identifier for your order reason along with a meaningful description. Order reason 789. Description will be
sales call and click on save save transport request and data was saved so we have successfully created our new order reason and we can create we can create new session go to change order transaction va02 choose our order and on order reason field you can now choose sales call our sales call new order reason and save document so we have successfully created new order reason and use that order reason in our sales document Next very important field is customizing order blocks. Order blocks are available in a CP to block a customer master record from being able to create a new sales document. For example, assume your customer is a defaulter and you don't want any new order for this customer to be entered into your SAP system. You can simply assign an order block into the customer master record that blocks the customer from placing any order in SAP. When customizing an order block, you first create the reason for which you should like to block your customer for placing further orders. You then assign this order blocking reason to the respective document types. Once set up, this order block reason can then be assigned to the respective customer master records that you want to block. The menu pass for setting up an order blocking reason in SPO transaction is next. Sales and distribution. Sales. Sales documents. Define and assign reason for blocking. Define blocking reasons. This activity allows you to define an order block. Press new entries. Define language. Provide a two character identifier for your blocking reason along with a meaningful description. Order block will be Z or 86 and description overall block. and pr press save button save your transport request then go back and click on allocate button reasons to sales document types this activity allows you to assign the order block to the respective sales document types so press new entries Choose our new order block, our block, and choose sales document type, standard order. Now click on save button and save transport request. So you have successfully created order block and assigned that order block to sales document type. 
Now we can go back to our sales order and we see our customer. We can copy this customer ID, create new session, go to XD02 transaction. Go to extras and blocking data. We see here the field order block in all sales areas and a list of in, li in this list we can see our new order block, our block. We can double click on this entry and save changes. After saving, our customer will be will have an order block. After saving changes, data was saved, and now we can try to create new sales order for this customer. And when we select our customer and press enter, choose our sales area, we will see the warning message. The customer has been assigned order block, RL block. So in this case, we can't create a sales order for our customer. So we have successfully created our order block and now we can go to customer change, environment, uh, extras and blocking data and leave this field black. So now our customer will not have order block and save changes. Go to our sales order again and now we'll learn about reason for rejection or by pressing this button reject document we'll see the list of reasons for rejection. In SAP you can reject individual line items or a sales document or a complete sale document by rejecting all the lines in it. You reject individual line items by entering a rejection reason for your line item on the Reasons for Rejection tab on the Sales document over your screen. This way you can provide different rejection reasons for different lines. Alternately, using the Fast Entry option in Sales document change mode, you can reject multiple lines at once, provided they, they all belong to the same rejection reason. So now we will learn how to define this reasons for rejection. Go to SPRO transaction, SAP reference ING, sales and distribution, sales, sales documents, Sales document item and define reasons for rejection. First column reason rejection. This field represents the two character identifier for rejection reason. 
the key can be numeric or alphanumeric. Description. This filter presents the logical description of the rejection reason. NRP checkbox. This field controls the printing of the rejected line. This checkbox, when selected for rejection reason, and if the rejection reason is selected for a sales line in document, makes that sales line item not relevant for printing. This way, you will restrict the reject line to print on the audio confirmation and other print outputs. OLI checkbox. This field controls the rejection for a resource related billing document. When selected, this checkbox allows you to create a new sales document or new sales item line in an existing sales document for a reject line, provided the rejected sales document or the line item was triggered via the resource related billing process. BIC checkbox. This field controls the copy of the rejected line for billing purposes. This checkbox, when selected for rejection reason, makes that sales line item not relevant for billing. Statistical. By selecting a value from the list of available values for this field, you tell SAP whether the rejected line item value should be added to the header totals of the sales document or whether it should be used only as a statistic. The available selection values are self-explanatory. So now we can click on New Entries, provide our rejection reason code, check on NRP, check the IC, accumulation and description. Return from customer. Or write a little bit bad quality and press save button save your transport request and now you can return to change view of the sales order click on reject document and choose new reason for rejection bad quality and save document. So you have successfully rejected reject the document with your new reason for rejection. In our example, batch quality. Now we can go back to change sales order. And we will talk about delivery blocks. Delivery block field. Delivery block functionality in SAP allows you to block the sales order and delivery document from further processing. You can apply the delivery blocks to the sales document either at the header level or at the schedule line level. First, you can assign the delivery block manually in the sales document or the system can automatically propose it. For automatic proposal at the header level, the delivery block needs to be entered in the sales document type customization. For auto proposal at the schedule line level, the delivery block needs to be entered in the schedule line customization. And uh, you need to always remember that um, for the delivery block to be effective at the sales document's header level, the delivery block assignment to the respective delivery type is a must. A delivery block at the schedule line can work even without this setting. Uh, you can also enter a default delivery block in the custom master data, and SAP will copy over the same delivery block to all the sales documents 
of the customer. They'll be blocking the sales document from getting delivered. The menu path for setting up an order blocking reason is SPRO transaction. FVP reference IMG Logistics Execution Shipping Deliveries Define reasons for blocking in shipping The deliveries blocking reasons criteria activity allows you to define the delivery blocking reasons and criteria you can also reach this customization screen directly using transaction code OVLS. To define your own delivery block, we need to double click on Deliveries Blocking Reason Criteria and click on New Entries. First, provide a two-character identifier and description for the delivery block. For example, Z5 and delivery block standard block. And we can, we can see here a few checkboxes. First checkbox, order. You can use this checkbox to block the sales orders from getting delivered. Next checkbox, configurable, confirmed. You can use this checkbox to block the order quantities from getting confirmed. Print. You can use print checkbox to block the output generation for sales document that are blocked for delivery. Do list. This checkbox helps you exclude the sales document block for deliveries from the delivery due list. Picking. This checkbox stops the deliveries from getting picked that are under the delivery block. Goods checkbox stops the deliveries from getting um, posting goods issue that are under the delivery block. Now we can press save button and save transport request. Next step is assigning delivery blocks to delivery document types. Delivery blocks activity allows you to assign the delivery blocks to their respective delivery document types. So, double click on delivery box, press on new entries, our new delivery block Z5, and we forget about delivery type. Okay, delete this entry, press save. Okay, new entries, Z5 and delivery type LF. So we assign our delivery block to delivery document type and press save button. So you have successfully defined your delivery block 
and successfully assign the delivery block to delivery type. You can go back, back to SCP Easy Access menu. So we have successfully customized and learned how to create a new sales order in SAP ERP system. Thank you for watching and you buy your work videos.